So I think we've got to get a house in order and to find out well, what is architecture and what is our value in architecture. And it's because we have not done it for 70 years, our profession is completely, completely submerged with bureaucracy, submerged with uh, other factors, and we keep running around saying, that, please, please, please listen to us. So there is a huge problem here. Now, other thing I want to mention is we mentioned two institutions that were uh, 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 sort of central to all this. This is the third institution. It might be what I might call the elephant in the room we are not talking about. There is a huge elephant in this room which no one wants to talk about. And that was the Prime Minister's office. And I can assure you, because we were arguing with these people, we were arguing with the lawyers, all the lawyers were with us. The other side was with us. Everyone was with us. They said, but. But what? But this elephant in the room. No one wanted to challenge the elephant in the room. So who is the elephant in the room and why is it that this elephant in the room wants to uh, destroy uh, architecture? They want This elephant in the room wants to destroy architecture because they want to get rid of a legacy. They want to get rid of a past and create a new, uh, uh, a new uh, future. We are all complicit in it. We are the people who will build the new. We are the people who will serve this elephant in the room and say, yes, sir, I will give it to me, I'll do it. I'll do it for less. So and this is the unfortunate position I'm in today. I don't know whom to talk to. Should I talk to the authorities? Should I talk to the USC? Should I do we talk amongst ourselves? Do we criticize ourselves for not being able to, uh, to sort of develop a profession that can stand and argue? From my side, what we tried to do was that for four years, we tried to go by the rule of the law. Say, OK, there's a law. Let's go about it. And it has not been resolved. It has not been resolved for many reasons. That's the one reason. UAC, HCC, HCC made some absurd uh, uh, criteria. No one is there to challenge it. We are trying to challenge it. But we come up with huge problems. As we were just discussing, go to the Supreme Court cost lakhs of rupees. The government, of course, is this big elephant in the room. They don't have to go anywhere. They are sitting in the middle of the room, squashing all of us. But for us to do anything, we have no resources. 